What does a farmer buy themselves for Christmas? Good job I got my hat on. Living the dream at the minute. Absolutely living the dream. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It has been an interesting few days because it has been so, so cold. I think we got down to minus 9.2, but interestingly, it's not been cold enough to really freeze anything. The water troughs froze once, which is really good. And I'm keeping warm with my Yeti pint and a half of coffee. Otherwise, it's been pretty decent, actually. We've got no end done. Dad's mucked out a load of cows and he's moved a load of scraping up muck. I've got loads of hedges cut. It's been really good. However, one thing that's not been great is we have PD'd the other half of the cows. And as you can see here, these are the barrenness. As you would expect, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you'll know that we've had that trouble with the cows that had salmonella as calves that we didn't know nothing around. And yeah, same continues. 2018 cows are pretty much taking themselves out of the herd as fast as they come in because they just aren't doing and getting back in calf, which we've come to expect, but it is really frustrating. More cool cows, yeah, not great. But on the plus side, if I come through here, one thing that I didn't speak about in last week's video with the stabilizers, because we hadn't done it at the point of filming, was I hadn't PD'd them, but we have now and every single stabilizer is back in calf, which is great because it kind of makes me feel like we're moving in the right direction with the stabilizer cows because they are doing what they should be doing. We've put them in this shed just here. As you can see, they're all in really good nick. They look great. If you've not watched stabilizer video from last week, I'll put it on the screen now and I'll link it at the end of the video as well so that you can see it. But I am over the moon with these. They've done everything they were promised to do. Genuinely, for the first time, think I've been promised something by a company and they've done it. Always been something that's not quite worked out, but these have done everything I want them to do. They're living off a little bit of silage, plenty of straw. They're all in calf. They're growing well. They look well. Just honestly can't say enough good stuff about them. And considering it's the week before Christmas, what does a farmer buy themselves for Christmas? Well, let me tell you, a farmer like me buys themselves some more stabilizers. So this week, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Tim's and pick up five more stabilizer in calf heifers that I've bought. I've treated myself for Christmas this year. Didn't want anything else. Just wanted myself a few more cows. So let's go get the trailer hooked up because I'm taking the wife for a day out to go and get some cows. Probably should introduce the wife because she's not been on the channel before. This is Kate. Say hi, Kate. Hi. I'm punching above my weight. Everyone's probably going to think I'm punching above my weight, which I am. But it's all right because I've married her now, so she can't do one.
just chucked them in this shed with the original stabilizers that we bought last year and they fit in really well you can't tell the difference between them really they're just a little bit smaller you can see here there's a, pretty much the five of them is just in a group there but they don't look out of place at all which is really nice give them a bit of extra straw too because these guys like a bit of straw the ones we bought are all f5 so they're fifth crosses so effectively they're purebreds pedigrees we can breed really good replacement stock out of these having 15 of them now is quite nice those of you who have watched the channel for a little while will be aware that we've got five heifer calves from last year's stabilizers which obviously will get put to the bull this year and i'm gonna have to do something about some more bulling heifers this year because i haven't got anything else could do with another 10 or so something like that to put to the bull for next year other than that with our blue heifers that we've got in calf to a stabilizer bull this year we should now be able to start and breed our own replacements and not have to buy anything in the cool thing about these new ones is that they're actually by the same dad as the ones we bought last year and they're actually in calf to the same bull as the ones we bought last year so we kind of have a good idea as to how these are going to play out and how they're going to carve and what they're going to be like so that's kind of interesting really is that we've kind of got experience with these animals even though we've only just bought them not to wish the year away or anything like that but i'm really excited for carving now and getting some calves out of these girls because they're uh, they excite me i'm really looking forward to the future of these because they're just an awesome bunch of cattle so calm as well like you're in here they just mill around they don't bother they'll come up for a little fuss living the dream at the minute absolutely living the dream right let's go and clean this trailer out and put it away and then we can knock off That's what you get for walking out of the fog. Good job I got my hat on, because when you hit a bald head, that's not good news. Now that we've put the trailer away, I just wanted to extend a massive thank you to each and every one of you who over the last 12 months has engaged with my videos through commenting, liking, sharing, talking to me on Instagram, direct messaging me, whatever it is. It means so much to me to have your support and I really appreciate it. About 12 months ago, I was at that crossroads where the channel wasn't doing that well and I didn't know whether to carry on or not, but you guys just keep coming on board and, and without your support, I wouldn't have continued this. So it means so much to me and it's helped us invest in the channel through new cameras, microphones, drone, everything. And now we're at a great stage with it to continue moving forward. So really appreciate your support. It's been a pretty tough 12 months on the farm what with tb issues bull issues pding issues the drought has compounded everything it's been crazy but you guys have all helped me get through it and i've really enjoyed putting it all on youtube for you to watch and i hope that you've enjoyed it too 2023 is gonna be super exciting there's so much i want to do i'm thinking about getting a logo and doing a bit of merchandise as well which will hopefully bring in a bit of money that we can start and invest in the channel a bit of investment into the farm which would be great i'm just really excited about where this is going now and again i couldn't have done it without you so from everyone at Baldy's Farm, from me, Kate, Barley, stop eating that please, dad, mum, all the cows, have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you all soon. Ta-da!